Hey, how about them tops, son? All day, SEC boys. SEC, they supposed to be SEC. You're listening to the Red Out Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome into a Red Out short clip here. Uh, this is from our latest episode. Hope you enjoy. We're a week out, less than a week out from Christmas, Ooh. and we're going to rank our favorite and least favorite Christmas gifts we've gotten. Yeah, because Devin had a sad childhood, so he, he just remembers the bad stuff. <sighs> yes. He, I'm a pessimist. I yeah. can't help it. Yeah. See, right. So Devin's an optimist when it comes to sports, but a pessimist in the rest of life. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm a rock. realist in the rest of life, so I'm not disappointed. There you go. Uh, you just got to think of things realistically, and sure. then you will never be disappointed. All right, Jerry, what are your favorite Christmas gifts? All right, so I tried to think of, like, what my favorite gift was as, like, a little kid, because, I mean, that's when Christmas is so special and, yep. like, pure is when you're, like, a child and, like, Santa comes, and you wake up at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day. By the way, and, Santa's oh, real. Oh, my present is there. It's exactly there, what I wanted. That's there, so cool. Are there any kids but, listening, Santa's real, don't let anybody tell you any different. Exactly. I still believe in Santa Claus. Me too. And it's required at my house that, and not my house specifically, but at my parents' house, that if you don't believe in Santa Claus, you don't get presents. For That's Christmas. right, because he only brings you presents if you believe in them. Exactly. That's how that works. Isn't that right, Jared? Yeah, sure. Very true. <laughs> but say number three, number three for me was this toy aircraft carrier I got. I can't remember how old I was, but it was pretty big. It was at least like three or four feet long, and it floated and everything. And I got like these toy planes to put on top of it, and I would go to my uncle's pool in the summer and like take it with me, and it'd be like an actual like aircraft carrier thing. It was really cool. I really that liked it a lot. It's one of my favorite things. Cool. That is super cool. And number two, I would have to say my first Ooh. real electric guitar <laughs> Which was a really nice. It was a Paul Reed Smith guitar for those of you musicians out there that know what that means. Uh, I got that my freshman year of high school. That was really nice. But my number one would have to be sentimentally the first guitar that I ever got when I was nine at Christmas time. Like it was because I liked Brad Paisley a lot. I heard him on the radio. A Belmont grad, by the way, watching that game right now. And Western's holding in there 11 to 12. Not bad. Belmont. Now oh, we're in the lead now. 13 to 12. Cool. Nice. But. Uh, yeah, I was a big Brad Paisley fan and everything, and I was like, oh, guitar is so cool, I want to get one, so I got like a crappy first act guitar for Christmas, but that led to me becoming a musician, a Western alum from the music department and the guitar ensemble, playing in Van Meter and all that fun stuff, and it's what I do for a living kind of right now, so it's really cool. I mean, he, he basically gives you advice and songs to do stuff, like, you know, start a band. Yeah, right, start That's a, a song, band. that's one of his songs, that's a great yep. song. Um, Jake, yeah, I'll so let you go next. I guess. My my favorites, uh, my three. So my, I actually went back and forth on three and one because they're <laughs> both game systems. Because I'm a nerd. Yeah. Uh, so number three for me was my Nintendo 64. Okay. When I was like eight years old. Okay. Um, first actual like my. Because we had Game Boys before. I had a Game Boy before. Yes. Like when I was like six yes. or seven. Got you had Pokemon Blue. Uh yeah. And I had Red. Yeah. I remember that. There's the reason I got Red because yeah. you said you had Blue. Um, that was, but that neither was, of us had the link cable to trade crap. We did not know. Um, <laughs> you so had a little. A, you had a little buddy named I had, Avery. Avery had yes. one, and so we did that a few times. Yes. But, um, no. So the N sixty four was first console that was ever just like mine. There were there were consoles in my house. Like I think yeah. we had a Sega Genesis, but the N sixty four was mine. And I just remember like playing so much Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Like so much for Smash Brothers and the N sixty four was probably one of the better. It was, it was just so good. The pod racing game that we played yes, the other night yes. was so fun. Because um, Evan's got a sixty four like hanging out. Yes, back here. I'm I'm um, that old his, geek guy who just went out and bought a sixty four and a PS two. Yeah, so. yeah. So that's that was number three for me. Number two was from when I was like pretty small, like maybe six. Was I got this was like a big cool present? I got all like five of the. We had to look this up. The Zeo, right? Was that what yes, it was? Yes, the Zeo Power Rangers Zords that formed into like the big one because you like folded them up and like stacked them all together. They made this like eighteen inch tall, like awesome robot mech thing. If you're not familiar with Power Rangers, what's wrong with you? What was wrong with your childhood? Yeah, I mean, um, who didn't kick their grandma at some point? I know, right? Accident, <laughs> you know, for a purpose, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so that was number two. That was super duper cool. 
And then number three, solely because of one video game, was uh, the Xbox 360. Yeah. I got it at launch. I uh, had to wait till Christmas to play it. Well, yeah. I, except maybe I did sneak it one time when nobody was home and play Call of Duty 2 for like eight hours. But whatever. Um, but the reason it made it was there was a game called Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which I oh, had yes. hundreds <laughs> of hours into. It is the best Elder Scrolls game, in my opinion. Have you played it more or Skyrim? I've, I've played it more than I have oh, Skyrim. Really? Okay. And I've put 200-some hours on Skyrim on my computer, in addition to what I put on the 360. But Oblivion, I've, I've probably beaten Oblivion like... I don't know, maybe a dozen or two times. I'm going to change your life right now. Skyrim's on the Switch. It is on the Switch, but the graphics are downgraded and I can't mod it. Oh, well, the so mods would be The, the mods are yeah. what make it on the PC. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, it is on the Switch and it's so awesome because you can play Skyrim, like, outside. Wherever, out. yeah. Like, taking a poop, you can play Skyrim, which is yeah. so freaking cool. That's why I love the Switch. Oh, the Switch is so great. The Switch is great. I want power cord in my Switch. i got to go buy another one. you got to go to another one. I have nine. They're not that bad, They're like ten bucks. Yeah, well, they're bucks. not ten bucks, but yeah, because... I found one on Amazon for ten bucks. Then I would buy it. Yeah, yes, uh, yeah, most right? definitely. Um, but yeah, that was that was mine. It's solely because of... I mean, that was the console I put the most... Like, I still play on my Xbox 360. Yeah. Like, I still play Mad. Not yeah. Mad, not NCAA 14. Yeah. With, with the tops and the SEC. Okay, so I wasn't specifically, you know, about, you know, game systems or anything. I got, I think my first system I got for Christmas was a PS1. Yeah, because you um, always had the PlayStation. Yeah, and the frustrating thing for me, which I can't really say anything because it's my dad's fault. Um, <laughs> when I was a kid, he, of course, he bought it from somebody that he worked with, got mm-hmm. it for me for Christmas. Um, I had a bunch of games with it, loved the game system, um, but... He would watch my little brother downstairs in the basement at night, and my little brother would take the games out of the um, folder, of course he doesn't remember this, put them in it, not like it's supposed to be, and then slam it down, and broke so many of my games, and I was so frustrated. Um, He's a little bitty. Yeah, but he was, yeah, and you can't be mad about that, because he was little and he didn't know any better. And it was my dad's fault, because he let him do it. Yeah, Um, he's watching. Yeah, he's he's watching him, yeah, right. He's watching, like... (laughs) Lone Wolf McQuaid for the twentieth time, um, but oh, he loves that movie. It's a great movie. It is a great. Movie. Um, but um, my favorite, probably, I'll go favorite system is probably either the PS2 or the 360 that I got for Christmas. Um, both of them are great consoles, and you can literally just put hours into them. PS2 up until like the last, like they just stopped making like games for the PS2. By the way, like three years ago. They, they were making a little longer than that. They, they stopped were, making for the PS3 a few years back. You can look it up if you yeah, want. Yeah, I just fine. remember I saw it on a YouTube um, video the other day where they were talking about how how the PS2 was like arguably the best system ever. Yeah, were, like listing off the reasons why. Um, it well, was amazing in its heyday, though. That was that was where it was at. Oh my gosh! Well, they yes. kept like releasing like new stuff on it, even when the new stuff was coming out on like the PS3. Oh, yeah. They released like a PS2 version still because so many people had them. Yeah, especially like. We, we always think about, like, the U.S. game market, but the Japanese game market oh, yeah. is super-duper heavy on Sony and Nintendo. You know, Xbox doesn't really have a, a huge following Ooh. over there. And legit, like, did you just fart? No, that was my phone, sorry. There are sure. so many fart jokes you could sure do. Sure it was your phone. You, you, you I have my phone squirrel, propped up, and I'm watching the <laughs> Belmont game. Please forgive me. I will say, I have to say this, is that Belmont has taken a three on four of their last five possessions and have made four of their last five. So. Oh, that's so depressing. So what's the score now? It's twenty six to nineteen. I think it just went to commercial break. Of course. Um, so okay, um, those that, that would probably be my favorite system. I mean, I'm not going to rank them because different people have bought them, yeah. and I don't want to make anybody mad of yeah. my family members that listen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Probably number two earliest childhood toy that I remember is I got a train for Christmas right before my dad was got deployed to uh, the Desert Storm. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's probably like the earliest one I remember. And I played with that thing for years. And I would you lose the tracks first off; those first things thing disappear. Those are gone. They are gone. And I remember for years I had just the tr- like a caboose, and that I don't even one? know where the rest of them are, probably. And I, I would remember, just be playing with those. I remember that thing. <laughs> I remember the red caboose yes. thing. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, probably one of my favorite ones that was just it shouldn't have been. It was just some toy that my parents picked up for some reason. I don't even know why. Back in the mid '90s, I want to say mid to late '90s, before it ever became a movie, there was an Alien vs. Predator toy line. I did not know that. They were about 12 inches tall, um, and I still have the Alien at my parents' house, but I've lost the Predator, which I love Predator. And if you see, if you've seen my room, and if we ever do a video, 
I've got Predator action figures on the walls. He does. Yes. He has them mounted. And I've got, yeah, I've, I've got, of course, Pop Funkos everywhere and everything. Because we are super nerds. Oh, I'm, yeah, I have no problem admitting it. Um, but that would probably be some of my favorites. Least favorite, um, uh, no names, but they'll know if they listen to this. Um, <laughs> So is B-O I've gotten Stuart shirts. Family. No, 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 not Stuart family. Um, in laws. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I've gotten white shirts for Christmas before. Um, I've got a family member that's not an in law um, who always buys us gifts who does not know my correct size, so everything's too small. Mm-hmm. Even when I wasn't. Oh, there's I'm Jared. Lost, Jared. <laughs> think do we have Here we Jared? Go, Jared. Jared it died on me I don't know what happened it's all that phone buzzing <laughs> that's what it was a vibrator set too hard yep <laughs> um so the um what I was saying was um some of my least favorite uh, white shirts for work which I mean I need them but it sucks to get those for Christmas um <laughs> shirts that don't fit shirts that don't fit and uh, probably least favorite would be like Something that I actually need that I don't want. Jared, how do you feel about socks for Christmas? It depends if you actually have a need for them. If they just give them to you because, like then good it's socks. obviously pretty bad. But I mean, I had this I had this discussion with with my EVP today about Ooh. how good least favorite no least favorite gift for me is cologne because that's got it. a double standard. Well, it's either the cologne you don't use or they think you stink. <laughs> That's my thought. Every time I get cologne, it's like like, like if somebody gets you a treadmill, you're like, oh, you say I'm fat. Anyway, oh, yeah. oh, like, like don't get your wife a gym membership. Oh no, 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 That's no. The worst my one. wife, my wife and I had the Wii. She and she, we loved our Wii when we played for years. Um, Just saying, your wife loved your Wii. The game system, yes, the <laughs> Nintendo Wii. She does like my Wii, but um, so one year the same person bought us both the Wii Fits. <laughs> And I just kind of was like, what are you saying? That's what I wanted to say. And I didn't say anything at the time, but later on I said something to them. And they were like, oh my god, we didn't even look. We just bought, we went in the game store and they were like, okay, that says we, get it. And they didn't even pay attention that they were the same thing. And I was like, (laughs) oh my gosh. That's great. I took it to GameStop and got like $1.50. You know, that's how it goes. Yeah, right. (sighs) Nightmare. All right, well, Jared, do you have anything else before we let you go to stream the Belmont game? Uh, I mean... Belmont is shooting over 50% from deep right now. There's about five minutes left in the first half. We're down by eight, which is a lot better than I thought it would be, but we'll see see what happens. Either we're going to come back on here and we'll be happy with the way things kind of turned out, but I don't know. We shall see. Um, We will be taking a hiatus for two weeks, guys, um, because of iTunes, just so you all know. um, There's some... there. It's like a lot of technicality. Season, yeah. yeah, well, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they're going on vacation at, at iTunes, so the uploading speed is going to be dropped by, like, days. So there's no reason for us to try um, until after the new year. So we will see you all next year. That's right. See you in 2019, guys. Yeah, so as always, remember, go Tops. Go Tops. Go Tops.